Hello, this video is all about dispensing math. So first I'm going to start off with a little bit of review of some of the terms that we're going to talk about with our math uh, formulas. So the first term is dosage. So the dosage is the general amount that any patient should be given over time. So dosages are usually given as an amount, usually in milligrams, per kilogram. Uh, sometimes it'll be milligrams per pound. Uh, typically though we want, uh, we, we talk usually in kilograms when it comes to uh, medical math. Uh, so 10 milligrams per kilogram, that's a dosage, that's a general amount for any patient. So we can calculate how much to actually give the patient using the dosage. So the next term is the dose. The dose is the amount of drug administered at one time to the patient. So the dose is something like one tablet or a half a mil. So we can use the dosage to calculate the dose. Next we have the dosage interval. The dosage interval is the time between administration of doses. So, uh, for example, if you are giving um, your medication every 12 hours, or maybe every eight hours, or once every hour, that's the dosage interval. Our next term is the duration. The duration is the length of the treatment. So, for example, if you're going to be treating the animal for 14 days, which is a pretty standard length of treatment. <laughs> So uh, next we talk about the BW or the body weight of the animal. So when we talk about the body weight, it must match the units to the dosage units. So if the dosage is 10 milligrams per kilogram, I need my body weight in kilos. Um, so if it's provided to me in pounds, I'm going to need to convert from pounds to kilograms. So I'm always going to check that my body weight unit matches my dosage unit. Uh, when we're reporting weights, if you have a weight that's greater than one, you can round that to one decimal place. So if you have 27.4 kilograms. If we have a number less than one though, it's a good idea to round it to two decimal places. Uh, so like 0.57 kilos. Uh, so when it's less than one, we want at least two decimal places. Um, if we have a, like a gram scale and we can have three decimal places, even better. But we want at least two. And if it is a if it is a bigger number, uh, greater than one, we can just round that to one decimal place. Um, so next we talk about our concentration. So the concentration is the amount of drug per unit. So if we are talking about a liquid medication, in one ml there's 25 milligrams. If we're talking about a tablet medication, there's 100 milligrams per tablet. Uh, so those are some examples of the concentration. Sometimes though drug concentration is listed in percent and that's going to give us a little bit of trouble. We're going to have to convert it. So that has to be converted to milligrams per mil. So the formula for that is you take however much percent, you times that by 10 and that gives you your amount in milligrams per mil. So for example, if I have a medication that's listed at 5%, I multiply that 5% by 10. So 5 times 10 is 50 milligrams per mil. Easy peasy, okay? Uh, and then my last note here uh, for body weight, when we talk about having to convert, remember that kilograms to pounds, we're gonna multiply kilograms by 2.2. If we're provided pounds and we need kilograms, we're gonna divide by 2.2, okay? So those are all our terminologies. So let's talk about our formula now. So, the two formulas that we're going to use for dispensing math, the first one gives us our dose. So remember our dose is the amount of drug administered at one time to the patient. <coughs> so we're going to need the body weight of the animal. If it isn't in the same uh, unit as the dosage, I'm going to need to convert it. So if the body weight is provided in kilograms and my dosage is provided in kilograms, then I'm good to go. Then I'm going to divide that by my concentration. So whatever my number is here, that's going to be the number that goes here. And then we get our dose. Then we're going to be asked to calculate how much total of drug we're dispensing. So um, we need to know our dose, first of all. So I've been given my dose here after I calculate this part. So dose times the dosage interval, which is how much time is between administrations of doses. 
uh, and then times the duration. Uh, and that will give us my total dispense. So the duration is the length of time of treatment. So the dose, let's say, is one tablet. My dosage interval, let's say it's SID. SID means once per day. So one tablet times one dose per day. And then times the duration, let's say, of 14 days. My total dispensed is 14 tablets. Okay. So I do have some written examples for you. Uh, so, you know, I'm sure it'll be a little bit easier to follow than me just talking. Uh, so let's do our first example. So our first example, we want to calculate our dose and we want to calculate the total dispensed for all our examples here. So the vet tells you to prep Batril tablets for a 19 kilogram dog using a product with 150 milligrams per tablet. The order is 20 milligrams per kilogram BID for 10 days. So uh, if I go back to looking at my formulas, I'll pop them back up here. I'll just pull this over. Okay, so if I look at my formulas, I need first of all a body weight. So my body weight in question here, we have a 19 kilogram dog. So my body weight is 19 kilograms. I also need my dosage. So what is my dosage? My dosage here is 20 milligrams per kilo. So my next step, I want to compare my body weight and my dosage. Are they both in the same units? Kilogram? Kilogram? Yes. I don't need to do any converting then. And then the concentration is, let's see, Batril tablets, and they're 150 milligrams per tablet. So the concentration, 150 milligrams per tab. So if I go with my formula, body weight times dosage divided by concentration, I'm just going to put C-O-N-C -C for concentration. That's going to give me my dose. So body weight, 19 kilograms. Dosage, 20 milligrams per kilo divided by concentration, 150 milligrams per tab. Uh, so, if we pull out our calculators, I'm going to go 19 for here, kilograms, times 20. So, this gives me, uh, I end up crossing off my kilograms, and this gives me 380 milligrams, and then divided by 150 milligrams per tablet. So uh, I have my 380 divided by 150. So that scratches off those milligrams. I end up with a dose of, so I have 2.5333333. I need to figure out what's a reasonable amount that the owner can actually give. Uh, so you can't give 0.533333 of a pill, but you can give 0.5 of a pill, half a pill. So two, 0.5 tablets is my dose okay so two and a half tablets is going to be how much I give each time I give a dose of medication to the animal so my next thing I figured out I've now calculated the dose I need to figure out my total dispensed so total dispensed I need dose I need dose interval I'm just going to write int and I need my duration so my dose, I know, because I just calculated it. It's 2.5 tablets. My dose interval. My dose interval is this right here, BID. BID means twice per day or every 12 hours. So in one day, I am going to be giving this animal two tablets. Okay, so two dose interval. So twice per day, BID. And then the duration, that's going to go on for 10 days. 
So the tab, so dose two tabs per, or two and a half tabs per dose. The dose is two doses per day, and then the duration is ten days. So I can lay that all out in my uh, formula. So dose times dose interval uh, times duration is gonna give me my total dispensed. I'm just gonna put DISP. So my dose, two and a half tabs per dose times my dose interval two doses per day and then I'm going to times that by my duration which is 10 so I don't want to get all scratched in here 10 days so I can do my first bit of math so I have two and a half tablets per dose times two doses per day uh, so the dose and the dose get scratched out there and then I can do uh, times 10 for how many days days and days get scratched out so we end up with how many tablets total so all of this equals 50 tablets and that's your total dispensed okay so that's how you do our first example. So let's move on to our second example. So for our second example, 45 kilogram dog is to be given cephalexin PO, so PO means by mouth, at a rate of 25 milligrams per kilo TID for five days. The drug is in the form of 150 milligrams per tab. Okay, so again, we're calculating here first our dose and then our total dispensed. So for dose, I need body weight. I need my dosage. I need my concentration. So I think at first it helps to write these down to keep everything all straight. Um, as you get more used to doing these, you can probably just do them in your head. But when you're first getting started, I think it's a really good idea to write everything out step by step because then you make sure you're not missing any of those steps, okay? So body weight, we have a 45 kilogram dog. So for our dosage, we're looking at how much we're giving the dog. So that's a rate of 25 milligrams per kilogram. Now I need to compare my body weight and my dosage. Do they both have the same units? Kilogram, kilogram, yes they do. I don't need to convert. And then I need to know my drug's concentration. So the drug is in the form of 150 milligrams per tablet. So I can write out my formula. So body weight times dosage divided by concentration equals the dose. So my body weight, 45 kilograms, times my dosage, 25 milligrams per kilo, divided by the concentration, 150 milligrams per tab. So I'll get my calculator out. I'll say 45 times 25. So that crosses off my kilograms. I end up with 1125 milligrams divided by the 150 milligrams per tab. Milligrams are gonna get crossed off here. Oh, whoops. So I have 1125 divided by 150. So I end up with dose is 7.5 tablets. That's a pretty large dose. I'd be pretty irritated at my vet for giving me uh, seven and a half pills to give to my dog every single time. Uh, they need medication. Uh, okay, so then we need to figure out our total dispense. So how much are we actually going to send home with this animal? So to figure that out, I need my dose. I need my dose interval, my dosage interval. Dosage interval. I need my duration. So for my dose, I know that because I just calculated it. It's seven and a half tablets. 
uh, for my dosage interval, I have to go back to the question to find that. So I can read through it again, and I'm looking for something like this. Oh, TID. TID means three times in a day. So every eight hours. So TID is three doses per day. Oh, and sorry, this is tabs per dose. And then for my duration, how long am I doing, doing this for? <coughs> Five days. So I can write out my formula. Dose times dosage interval times duration equals total dispensed. So my dose is 7.5 tablets per dose times my dose interval of three doses per day and times that by the five days of my duration. Uh, so we can take back to our calculator here. So seven and a half times three times five gives us 112.5, one, uh, and that's gonna be tabs. So our doses cancel out and our days cancel out, and that leaves us with tabs. So uh, 112 and a half tabs is our total dispensed. But my question for you is, can we really uh, dispense 112 and a half pills so uh, sometimes there are times when we might leave a half of a tablet in a bottle, but the better thing is to probably just go ahead and dispense the full tablet 113. So in that case, your total number, you'll probably round up to 113. You'll never round down because if you were to round down, that last dose, they're gonna be short by a half a tab. So we need to round up and then they'll just have one half tab left over. Okay. So let's flip this over and do another example. This one is an example with a liquid. So the vet tells you to prep liquid Clavamox for a 45 pound dog using a product with a concentration of 250 milligrams per mil. The order gives the dosage as 50 milligrams per kilo BID for seven days. So I want to calculate my dose first. So I need body weight, dosage, and concentration. So I can look at my question and get the body weight from there. A 45 pound dog. I guess I don't need dog in there, sorry. Um, dosage, uh, so the dosage is 50 milligrams per kilo. So now I'm going to compare my body weight and my dosage. Are they the same unit? Pounds, kilograms. Uh-oh, I've got a little bit of a problem there, don't I? So I need to do a bit of converting. So if I'm given my weight in pounds and I want to get to kilograms, I need to divide the weight by 2.2. So 45 pounds divided by 2.2 is going to give me kilograms. So we can do that with our calculator. 45 divided by 2.2 is 20.454545. So since this number, the, the first number is higher than one, I'm gonna go ahead and just round to one decimal place. So this is gonna become 20.5. I'll round that four up because the next number is a five. So 20.5 kilograms. So now my body weight in kilos matches my dosage in kilos. Great. So concentration, the product concentration is 250 milligrams per ml. So I need to figure out my dose. I'm gonna go body weight times dosage divided by concentration is my dose. So body weight is right here. I figured it out as 20.5 kilograms times a dosage of 50 
milligrams per kilo divided by the concentration, 250 milligrams per ml. So I can put my numbers into my calculator. 20.5 times 50 divided by 250. So that gives me 4.1. And my unit, I'm going to cross off the, ki the kilograms cancel each other out, the milligrams cancel each other out. I'm just left with mils. Okay, so now I need to figure out how many, oh, I don't have a lot of room here, how much I'm dispensing total to go home. So I need then for that my dose, my dose interval, and my duration. So the dose I know, I just calculated it, it's 4.1 mLs. My dosage interval is right here, BID. What does BID stand for? It stands for two doses in one day. So the dose interval is two dose per day. Oh, this is per dose. And your duration is seven days. And that's right there. So uh, we have dose times dose interval times duration. And that equals our total dispensed. So the dose is 4.1 ml per dose times two doses per day times seven days. And that will give us what? So again, we can put it into our calculator. So 4.1 times two times seven we get a total of 57.4. And what's our unit gonna be? Dose cancels out, day cancels out. So we're left with mLs. So again, it might be a little bit tricky to dispense um, 57.4 mLs. So we might end up having to do a little bit of rounding. Uh, so depending on your bottle, if you have a bottle you can pour 60 mils into comfortably, uh, I would just go ahead and dispense 60 mils total and you're rounding up a little bit and they have a little bit extra. But our total dispense, we're going to need at least 57.4 mls. So that was an example with liquids and where we had to convert the, the pounds to kilos. So let's do another example. So this is a little bit of a trickier one. When we have drugs like prednisone or any anything with a steroid in it, we need to be um, careful that we don't just stop the dose entirely. Uh, so if we are giving a dose, we need to taper it down and ease the animal off the drug. If we just stop it abruptly, we can end up putting the animal into um, like an Addisonian crisis. Because if we're providing those corticosteroids, the body's not going to make them um, in numbers that they need. So if we just stop it abruptly, they're going to end up not having enough. So we, we need to taper down these doses. So typically you're going to see an order something like this. A 15 kilogram dog is given prednisone PO, so PO means by mouth, at the rate of 12 milligrams per kilo, BID for 10 days, so that's twice daily for 10 days. And then we're gonna do eight milligrams per kilo SID for 14 days. Uh, the drug comes in 100 milligram tablets. So we're gonna have to do this twice. We're gonna have to figure out the dose when it's at 12 milligrams per kilo. And we're gonna have to figure out how much is dispensed for this dose, dose, dosage. And then we're gonna have to figure out the dose at eight milligrams per kilo and figure out how many are dispensed at this dosage. And then we're going to need to add those two together to get the total dispensed. So let's work out the math. So for our body weight, or for our dose, we need body weight, we need dosage, we need concentration. So the body weight is 15 kilograms. The dosage, we'll do the first one first, is 12 milligrams per kilo. And now I need to check, does my body weight match my dosage? Are the units the same? Yes, they're both kilograms. We're good to go. 
Uh, and then our concentration, the drug comes in 100 milligram tablets. So that's 100 milligrams per tab. So I can figure out our first uh, dose then. So the first dose is 12, oh, sorry. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I'll write out my formula, body weight times dosage divided by concentration equals the dose. So my body weight, 15 kilograms times 12 milligrams per kilogram divided by 100 milligrams per tab and that equals my dose. So I can put that into my calculator, 15 times 12 divided by 100. So that gives me 1.8 tablets per dose. So kilograms, kilograms cancel out, milligrams, milligrams cancel out, and I just have a tab. Now can I give 1.8 of a tab? I cannot. So 1.8 of a tab, I'm going to round that up to two tablets, and that's my dose. Okay. So next I'm going to figure out how many I'm total dispensing for this first one. So for my total dispensed, I need my dose, my dosage interval, and my duration. So my dose I know because I just cal calculated it, it's two tabs per dose. My dosage interval is right up here. It's BID. BID is twice per day, so two doses per day. And my duration, we're doing that for 10 days. 10 days. So again, I can write up my formula. So dose times dose interval times duration is the total. So my dose, two tabs per dose, times my interval, two dose per day, times my duration, 10 days. So I can put that into my calculator, two times two times 10. So that equals 40, and my units is gonna be tabs. Because dose cancels out with dose, day cancels out with day, I'm left with tabs. 40 tablets is my total. But is that my total? No, it's my total for my first portion, but I have a second dosage rate that I need to calculate here as well. So I am just going to move down onto um, another piece of paper here. So this is one, this is gonna be two. So I need to start all over again. I need my body weight. Well, I know it's still 15. I need my dosage. My dosage has changed. For the second one, my dosage is eight milligrams per kilogram. I can check and make sure that my body weight and my dosage are the same units, and they are, they're both in kilos. And my concentration, still the same, still the same tablets I'm sending home. So body weight and concentration hasn't changed, just the dosage. So body weight times dosage <clears throat> divided by concentration is the dose. Body weight, 15 kilograms, dosage, eight milligrams per kilo, divided by concentration, 100 milligrams per tab. I can get out my calculator and go 15 times 8 divided by 100 and I get 1.2 tabs. So I know it's tabs because my kilograms have cancelled out and my milligrams have cancelled out leaving me with tabs. 
So 1.2 tabs, can I really give that? Nope, I can't give 0.2 of a tablet. So uh, in this case, I'm probably gonna round down to just one tablet. And that's my dose. If you're ever not sure about which way to round, just ask your vet, they'll let you know what they're thinking. So now I need to figure out uh, my total dispense for this one. So the dose is, I know I just calculated it, one tab per dose. What is my dosage interval? For that I have to go back to the question. So this was my dosage, here is my interval. SID. SID means just one tablet in a day. So we have one, or sorry, not one tablet, one dose in a day. So it, dosage interval, SID, one dose per day. And my duration is 14 days. I can write out my formula. Dose times dosage interval times the duration equals the total. So my dose is, or my dose is one tab per day times my interval one dose per day times my duration 14 days. So I'll get out my calculator one times one times 14. Oh easy peasy. That's 14 tabs total. I know it's tablets because day and day cancel, or sorry, yeah, that's supposed to be dose, sorry, one dose. Dose and dose cancel out, day and day cancel out. So I'm left with tabs, 14 tabs total. So is that my total? Still not. I need to add my first and my second together. So for my first, my total is 40 tabs plus my second, which is 14 tabs. And that's going to equal, again, I can go ahead and get my calculator out. 40 plus 14 is 54. So I always want to do the first set and the second set and then to find out how many I'm dispensing I need to add both together. Now sometimes doctors really do a big taper and you might have to add up like maybe even four steps worth. So this one goes fairly easy on you in that it's just the two. Okay so I have two more examples for us. So, I have an example here. A cat is to get 50 milligrams of enrofloxacin SID for 10 days. It comes in 100 milligram tabs. So, if I look up here at my or at my uh, formulas, I have body weight times dosage divided by concentration equals the dose. But I don't have a body weight in here. And I don't have a dosage where they tell me how many kilo, or how many milligrams to give per kilogram. That's because they've just provided me with the amount, 50 milligrams. So 50 milligrams is as if they did this part for you. So you can just pop that right into the first part of the formula. So we're gonna go that 50 milligrams divided by concentration, and that's gonna give me my dose. So 50 milligrams divided by my concentration, it's 100 milligrams per tab. So 100 milligrams per tab. So I can go ahead and get my calculator. 50 divided by 100 is 0 0.5. And we know that milligrams and milligrams will cancel out, so that's a half of a tab is my dose. Now, if I wanna figure out how much my total dispensed is, I need to know the dose. So I'm gonna go here, dose times dose interval 
times duration. My dose is 0 0.5 tabs per dose times the dose interval is SID. SID means one dose per day. So one dose per day. And then my duration is right here, 10 days. And that's going to give me my total. So I can put that into my calculator. So 0 0.5 times 1 times 10 gives me 5. And dose and dose cancel out, day and day cancel out. It's 5 tabs. And that's my total dispensed. So this one's fairly easy because it kind of just takes away that whole first step of having to find the body weight and that dosage and it just gives you those two numbers combined already in the form of the 50 milligrams. So I have one last example for you. So this is a liquid example. The vet tells you to give a dog 6.8 milligrams of tetracycline SID times 14 days. It comes in a 20 milligrams per mil solution. So again, I don't have a body weight and I don't have a dosage because they've given you right here how many milligrams the animal's gonna get. So I can go ahead and put that into my formula, 6.8 milligrams. And I'm gonna times that by, or sorry, I'm going to divide that by the concentration. And that's going to give me the dose. My concentration, it's a 20 milligram per mil solution. So I have 6.8 milligrams divided by 20 milligrams per mil, and that will give me my dose. I can come to my calculator. 6.8 milligrams divided by 20. I'm going to be administering 0 0.34 milligrams cancels out. It's going to be mLs that I'm giving as a dose. So three, 0.34 mL is my dose. So if we're talking about um, liquid medications, if I have less than zero, I want to give two decimal points when I'm rounding. Um, if I have more than one, I'm going to round to just one decimal point place. That's because um, when we look at the syringes, what the, what the owners can draw up at home, if they're drawing up in a 1 ml syringe, it can accurately dose uh, to the um, one hundredths place, so to two decimal places. But if you're drawing up, let's say, you know, one and a half mLs, you're using a 3 ml syringe, it only measures in uh, tenths of an ml. So we have to be careful about what we're measuring in. So I have my dose now, but I need to figure out how much I'm going to dispense total. So I need dose times dosage interval times the duration, and that'll give you my total. So my dose I know, I just calculated it's 0 0.34 ml. My dosage interval, I have to go back to the question. Dosage interval, SID, right there. SID, once per day. So oh, that's per dose, uh, one dose per day. And then my duration, I'm doing it for 14 days. So again, I can get out my calculator. I can go 0.34 times one dose per day times 14 days. Dose, dose, day, day, those all cancel out. I'm left with 4.76 mLs. Um, I can't really measure 4.76 mLs with one syringe uh, or to 
accurately pour into a vial. So I'll probably round up here. I'm just probably gonna round to the whole unit. I'll dispense five mLs. It's easiest to measure that way. But that would be our total dispensed. So this is our accurate number, but my reasonable number, my practical number to dispense, I'm gonna round up to a whole number. So 4.76 is our total there, okay? So that's a few different examples of different types of math questions you might encounter. Uh, I hope this little video has been helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, make sure you do ask me uh, in the virtual chat um, or uh, via email. Thank you so much for your time.